Warning signs and symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome you cannot ignore. Do you suffer from regular abdominal pain, changes in bowel habits, or especially abdominal bloating? Did you know that some foods you eat can actually aggravate these symptoms? Have you ever heard of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and wondered if you could have this condition? Approximately 6% to 18% of the global population is affected by irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. It's important to note that IBS may be more prevalent in women than in men. Today, we will delve into understanding IBS, its symptoms, causes, prevention, and associated risks. It's essential to be aware that symptoms like abdominal pain, abdominal bloating, and changes in bowel habits might be indicative of various health problems and can even be confused with other conditions, including cancer. Thus, timely diagnosis and confirmation are most important. What is Irritable Bowel Syndrome and what are its causes? Irritable Bowel Syndrome, commonly known as IBS, is a chronic digestive disorder that affects the large intestine. It is characterized by symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, gas, and changes in bowel habits. Based on what experts say, at this time, there isn't a single known mechanism that could explain why patients have irritable bowel syndrome. But it's thought to be related to abnormalities in the way the gut and brain interact. The gut itself has over 100 million nerve cells that can communicate with the brain and influence the release of hormones in your body. As a result, these nerves in your gut can certainly impact your digestion and your bowel movements. Importantly, IBS is not the same as inflammatory bowel disease or inflammatory colitis disease or ulcerative colitis, a condition associated with a risk for colon cancer. What are the primary symptoms experienced by someone with irritable bowel syndrome and what triggers this condition? There are three main manifestations that a patient with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, could exhibit. Firstly, abdominal pain and cramping, which in general can be mild, moderate, or intense. Initially, the presence of abdominal pain is commonly associated with the urge to defecate. The pain is often described as a sharp, crampy, or colicky sensation, typically located in the lower abdomen. Secondly, changes in bowel habits, episodes of constipation, alternating with episodes of diarrhea. And thirdly, the presence of mucus in the stools, and the patient might even have a sensation of incomplete evacuation. A related symptom is tenesmus, the sensation of needing to defecate. Some patients with IBS may have nausea and vomiting, more commonly occurring in female patients. This may be related to dyspepsia and delayed gastric emptying. Studies suggest that fatigue and difficulty sleeping are also related to IBS. Sleep disturbances can include difficulty falling asleep and insomnia. The causes of IBS remain complex and multifaceted. While no single mechanism explains its occurrence, factors such as alterations in digestive motility and sensitivity, often influenced by psychological aspects, seem to be involved. Disruptions in the intestinal barrier and microbiota might also contribute to IBS. It's crucial to mention that many experts have indicated that certain diseases, such as gastroenteritis, food intolerance, hormonal imbalances, or genetic factors, could be associated with this condition. There would be both inherited psychological factors and nutritional factors, as well as infectious factors, that could lead to a condition known today as IBS. This condition isn't necessarily a disease on its own, but rather the manifestations of many diseases a person might experience. How is IBS diagnosed? Experts indicate regarding the diagnosis. It's important to mention that it would be based on understanding the situation and how the symptoms present. A thorough understanding of the patient's history and symptoms, complemented by physical examinations and tests like blood, urine, and stool analysis, are essential. Often, radiological studies, abdominal ultrasounds, and colonoscopies are recommended. The diagnosis of IBS is typically by exclusion, ruling out other conditions that could explain the symptoms. An important point to note is that nowadays, the symptoms a person might exhibit could indicate many health problems we should be aware of. This is why it's crucial to diagnose in a timely manner and, above all, to get a diagnostic confirmation to determine the problem an individual has. 
Depending on the symptoms, the diagnosis can be confirmed, keeping in mind that the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, are nonspecific. Given that abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits could even lead to a diagnosis of colon cancer, it's crucial to rule out these conditions. Therefore, both imaging tests and colonoscopy are necessary examinations for a patient who shows symptoms associated with IBS. How can we prevent this condition? Regarding treatment and preventive measures to consider, research has revealed that currently there isn't a specific treatment for this condition. Hygienic dietary measures, such as avoiding trigger foods and drinks. These include wheat, dairy products, citrus fruits, beans, cabbage, coffee, milk and carbonated drinks or foods that produce excessive gas. Incorporating fiber in your diet can help regulate bowel movements. It's important to avoid certain bad habits as well, such as smoking and drinking alcohol. Secondly, regarding medication, depending on the severity of the symptoms the patient presents, medications like antispasmodics, motility stimulants, antidiarrheals, laxatives, antidepressants, or anxiolytics might be prescribed. Alternative treatments, like psychotherapy, acupuncture, or hypnotherapy, can also be beneficial, especially for the psychological factors related to IBS. Recommending appropriate physical exercise according to age would also help manage this condition. Drink plenty of water, at least eight glasses per day. Always consult medical experts for a comprehensive understanding of these subjects and to address any questions you might have. IBS is a condition that has various causes, ultimately characterized by the presence of abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits. In the United States, IBS is more common among women and usually presents before the age of 50. While it's essential to understand its implications and effects, it's reassuring to know that IBS is not a risk factor for cancer. In conclusion, IBS is distinct from inflammatory bowel disease, which is a risk factor for colon cancer. Awareness and timely interventions are crucial. If you found this information beneficial, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to support our growth and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Wait, before you leave, you may also find some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right now. Feel free to click on any of them, or even better, watch both to continue your knowledge journey with us. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I will see you next time. Bye.